Eight four. We are live. Welcome to week 72 of Inner City's Long Form Improv Jam. Woo! Woo! We are being live streamed, Woo. so please share the stream, which should be in the chat soon. Share that with your friends, tell them, tell your mom, come watch. And before we get started, as usual, we're going to go over a little background information. And oops, not that way. <laughs> Share the wrong thing. And inner cities long form improv jam. Wow, what was that? <laughs> da -da -da. Our jam format you signed up for musical or non musical and little elves have put you into your correct place now usually we have four teams however this evening we have three so we're going to be doing 20 minute scenes this will be montage which means that you uh, the scenes can or cannot be related in either way and someone two people when you come out you'll get your suggestion two people will start the scene at any point you can either sweep edit or tag out now a sweep edit is something we're all going to practice now. So turn on your cameras. And when you want to come into the scene and you want that scene that's there to end, you're going to come on and everybody go sweep. Just like that. Sweep. 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 Good job. Sweep. And that will end the previous scene. You will begin a new scene with whoever else hops on. Now, if you want to join a scene with somebody, you can tag somebody out, then you will join in the scene with whoever's left. One or two people, you can tag two people out. So however you wanna do that, you will be warned. We'll tell you who the timekeeper is. You'll be warned about two minutes before the set ends. And so if you are in a musical improv scene, it's really nice to have a, a big, large musical number at the end. So if you can find a way to get in there for the last song, the last scene and sing it up there. If there is any strange sound coming from you, we will mute you. Um, so that's, that's just not nothing personal. And if you are oh, back there, if you are in the audience, make sure that you are you mute yourself if it's your set if you if it's your team that's up there you can leave your sound unmuted in fact i i suggest you do so you don't accidentally hop in muted and also to give support to your team members and don't worry if you have noise we will mute you background noise uh, look at your video you want to hide non-video participants make sure that is checked that way you'll only see the people that are up at that time and not a lot of empty boxes. And a top right side, a very top right corner should say speaker view. That means you are in gallery view. We're streaming on Facebook, as I mentioned, tell everybody we have sensitive topics, political, COVID, religion, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing, these are examples, not an exhaustive list, banned topics, no flashing, rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, any kind of ism, mental illness, anything that makes a person's identity the butt of the joke. No, no. Um, this is, these are examples, not an exhaustive list. If you feel uncomfortable with something that happens on the screen, you can call it timeout or even better, just sweep the scene. Now, if you're, if it's your set, obviously you can sweep, but if you're in the audience and you, something that really bothers you, go ahead and sweep or timeout and let us know. Cause we'd like to know what the problem is. Make sure that, uh, we keep this space fun and safe for everybody. Tips, one person speaking at a time, treat each other with respect, use your face, not a mask. Um, make sure you see when people at the beginning, who comes up for your team so that you know if everybody's had a chance before you jump in again, uh, try to even out the playing time so that you all have equal playing time. Uh, don't worry about anything with the music. Our MD will, people say, oh, I can't sing. It doesn't matter. Our MDs will make you sound amazing. 
when the time, as I mentioned before, when you hear the timer, get up there for the last scene if you can. Laugh, have fun, and stick around till the end. We will have a group game. We will have our featured troop announcement for the ne next week. We have some chatting and please spread the word. If you have any friends you think might be interested, this is a great way to start out with improv. Learn what it's all about. Have fun in a safe environment. Oop. Drum roll, pr please, for our team of the evening, which is the Improfessionals, who will be headlining. So stick Ooh. around and make sure you see that team. Yay. And these are the faces of our wonderful improvisers who will be there. Now, I'd like to call up our team one. Oops. I'd like to call up our team one speaker who is let's see our host for team one is angel and timekeeper nelson could you two come up and hello thank you thank you laura so nelson morgan will inform you when uh, you'll have only two minutes left and now on the team one we will have kevin wilcox from new york new york will we will also have David Shapiro from the Windy City. We will have Alex Lee from La Canada, California. We will have Alex Taylor from Miami, Florida. And also myself, Angel Canes from Sevilla, Spain. Woohoo! Nice. Woohoo! We are team one. What a, a lot what else comes in on groups of one? No, no, antibodies. Say that one more time. You're the only no, no, one antibodies. <laughs> okay, we'll go with antibodies. Why not? Antibodies. Thank you. Antibodies. Thank you, antibodies. How long how long is the set? Twenty minutes for three teams. All right. We just have to uh It'll just be a simple shot. Just uh, roll up your sleeve. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. This is a short, short needle. It's only seventeen inches. Oh my God! Oh my God! <sighs> okay, so it doesn't hurt a bit. Doesn't hurt a bit. And well, okay. I have good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is. Uh, you definitely aren't sick uh, because, yeah, this is motor oil. You're a robot. Oh, thank you, doctor. It means like I'm like a superhero. Uh, I have. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it means you. You did not know that you were a robot. No. Oh my God! Now everything makes sense. Dr. John, now I understand why my movements are so weird. Oh, everything is clear now. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, so there's not really anything Tag else out I Angel. can do. Tag out, Angel. <sighs> Doctor, I have this plan. We need, we need to transform everyone. Anyone with shoulders, we need to transform into a robot. Okay, uh, well, uh, you know, I mean, you know, we, we are one of the leading HMOs, you know, in this part of the state and, yeah. you know, something like this absolutely is, you know, within our remit. Now, do you want to go with uh, the simple uh, implanting the brain into a robot body or do you want to go with uh, injecting them with nanotech so that they slowly robotize from the inside out? Uh, mm. I will tell you the latter is more expensive. The latter, well, well Dr. AutoZone, I, I can pay for anything, okay? So let's go with the more expensive nano uh, technology. Okay, all right. Check I out, just need check you to roll. Kevin. Um, Dad, um, I've decided to 
it's made a big decision in my life, Dad, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I Obviously. Decided, I decided to start identifying as a robot. And I'm going to start wearing, I'm going to be doing it mostly from the outside in. I'm going to be wearing lots of clothes or stuff identifying as a robot clothes on the outside. It'll match my inside. Robots don't wear clothes, son. Well, we well, I I choose to wear clothes, Dad, and I hope, Dad, I love you, Dad. I love you very much, and this is a very hard decision for me, and I hope you will accept me. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough pill to swallow. I've spent millions and millions of dollars for you to go to school for liberal arts, and okay. you, now you decide to. I, I've decided I want to be an adding machine. That's that's my I, I want them to be to stick the little little cards in me one side and I'll pop out a computer program the other side. No one uses those, son. I want to be an old school robot, Dad. That's what I identify as. Not a new robot, an old robot. Big as a room, big as a house. That's me. Take out uh, Alex. Ah, oh, Emmy. So your father accepts accept your transformation. It took it took a long while. It's it's, it's going to be a slow process. Um, oh, it's wonderful. I I can't wait for you. You know it. You want a transistor? You want a transistor right here? I got a yeah. transistor for you. Thank I'm you. Put, I'm going to take one. I'm just going to tape it right here. I'm just going to put it right here on my forehead. I can leave. Oh. It's wonderful. I'm feeling wonderful. It. We will be prepared to make a family of robots. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We haven't talked anything about family. I'm 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 a robot. I can't reproduce. Maybe maybe if I maybe if I interface with you with my UCB and your UCB slot, we can maybe exchange information. That is how it works. No. We will make all the humanity will no. be controlled by us. I, 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 are you talking about the penis? Because I don't want to. I, I don't accept that that's there anymore. We don't use these kind of nasty go, Angel? things. So anyway, uh, your father. Mm -hmm. uh, wanted me as a doctor to show you uh, this little film, mm. and it now it is it it's an old one from the fifties, but mm. it's all about how you as a robot need to be careful, you know what other robots uh, you interface with, because you see, I mean they have uh, these things here, uh, robotic viruses, RVs. Oh, I don't want them. I oh yeah, we have yeah. Like I said, we have a whole film strip about it. It it has little cartoon representations of the of the robot viruses and things. And is there anything I could do to make the chance of that happening lower? Besides not well, doing. It? Well, I mean, you know, there are, you know, caps that you can put over uh, the top. Ah. Um, I'm I I'm absolutely uncomfortable right now. Can I reprogram uh, discussing I, this? Can I? Well, hmm? the, Doc, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with what I am. I am XY slash J lifting droid. That's what I am. It's what I choose to be. And you can. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I know I'm I'm the one who installed your clamps. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cut to the robotic movie. <laughs> Oh, this is how my life. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm excited to see you. <laughs> Me too. We are so much robots right now. And we yeah. keep growing. Let's leave this place and 
go to the car. What XJ54 did not know was that MQ420 had a secret. <laughs> Actually, the car is now an ovni. It will destroy you. We bring back Kevin. So, Doctor, I, as part of my transition to a full robot, I need to, um, hoping you could give me some antibodies. Because I'm figuring that will reduce the human part of me as much, the antibodies. Well, we, we do have these uh, nanobots that can be uh, oh, injected no. directly into you. That's not, that's too far. I really want an anti-body. I, it's not that I want pro-robot, which I am. I just want to get rid of the body part of mine. So I really need the Right, well, that's what these do. Yeah, but... These are flesh eaters. Oh, so they're, they're really anti-bodies. Oh, yeah, anti very much so. Uh, oh. Now, I do need to warn you, uh, that, you know, after you take this injection, you will need to wait eight to 10 weeks before you interface with uh, any other computer because these will spread and it could result in the extermination of the human species. Oh, I don't want, don't want. Well, would that result in the creation of more robot transhumans? Not necessarily. I mean, well, yes. Uh, certainly in the short term, that would. Cut to seven weeks and six days with David. Oh, God. Oh, this has been the hardest I've ever had. Oh. Ooh. David. I, I haven't worn my robot hat in so long. In my robot. David. You don't want me, David. I want you. Come I on. You. I want you here. It's been six weeks. Come on, David. I turned, I turned my finger into USB port, so. Oh. I'm going to put it oh. right, right where your nipple should be. Oh. Okay. Tag out David and Alex. Bring in somebody who hasn't been in yet. Or hasn't been in. <laughs> anyway, that that's our updated version of the, you know, the robot virus uh, film strip. <laughs> uh, that, uh, uh, that, th honestly, that's a little. I'm a little bit shocked at how much you're showing uh, uh, in that video. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, this is the 21st yeah. century. Yes. You know, little I mean, cartoon bugs aren't going to cut it anymore. Yeah, but you showed an exhaust pipe. I mean, it's that's a that's a little risque. <laughs> well. As I said, this we we really need to drive home to these robots that if they do this, this is what's going to result. Sweet, sweet, bring back in Alex Taylor. I can't believe you brought robot porn for us to watch. Oh my God! Look at that motherboard. Wow. Oh. Oh. I did uh. see I think the robots would could deliver pizza. I wasn't ready for this. Oh my god, oh my god. He did it over, but he did it all over the motherboard. That's not good. You know what? I'm turning this off. I am I am totally turned off by that. I I think I'm gonna go back to human. I can't, no. I can't do robot anymore. David. No, no, don't, David. don't try it. Don't try it. It's, it's, it's turning me off so much. Oh, I'm taking off the helmet. No. Tag out Alex. Well, I I can, you know, as your as the doctor here at this HMO, can begin the process of turning you back into a human. Of course, we don't really have the function to regrow new human body parts. 
So it will involve some light grave robbing. Well, luckily, I still have the clamps on my on my hands, so that that'll be easier to to grab up the the cop the coffins and stuff. But oh no, we have HMO staff to actually do the 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 work. It can't happen soon enough. I I saw what happens okay. when when robots reproduce. Right. And I, I, doctor, hang well, Kevin. John, yeah. you cannot leave the robot's world. You I, I, cannot leave us. Oh, XJ forty two rowing robot. I can't do. It. I just can't do it. I, I, I love you. I loved you so much, and I loved your the inside of you as well as the outside of you. But me too. I, I can't be with you in the way that you want me to be with you. I'm Oh, we can use more high-tech technology. No, oh, no, I'm going the opposite direction with my life. I'm going low-tech. I'm getting, I'm downgrading myself. I've, I've upgraded every part of me, but I upgraded too much. Now I'm looking to become more retro, more flesh-based. Oh, if you are leaving... Robot's world. I may leave. Don't cry. Don't don't cry. Don't cry, to uh, robot. Oh no. We'll always have. We'll always have that time we upgraded together. You gave me. And whoops. And sweet. <laughs> Can't believe it. These pet cemeteries have keep getting robbed. Sergeant Lee. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Uh, I, that wasn't a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was evidence, or no, it wasn't evidence. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh uh, yeah, look, yeah. I found evidence. Yes, I, I'll, I'll put it in the. You're already on the. Uh, you're already on yeah. the case. That. I... Yeah, I, 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 exactly. I have nothing to do with this. I'm already on the case. I just happen to be here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because yeah, sergeant, I mean, the pet cemeteries keep getting robbed, and I just uh. <sighs> I, I know. I mean, I mean, ever since they started put, uh, started having those, um, um, people started getting those robot pets and burying their robot pets. I mean, they, I mean, they just have such valuable hardware that people really want to, you know, get on the market. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Tamagotchi that's come back to life. I'm a Tamagotchi that's come back to life. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> it's, the, the place is a little haunted. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying again. All right. All right. Yeah, it's, right. It's, it's, right. I'm going to let you handle like, this is really freaking me out. Okay. Oh, why, is it, why is it freaking you out? It's, I mean, it's not as bad as real ghosts. But it's robot pet ghosts. And that's scarier than real ghosts. <laughs> oh. you're, 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 okay, you're telling me you've been like a 20-year detective. You've seen all kinds of grisly, you know, murders and bodies and crime scenes. And you're afraid of a little haunted Tamagotchi. <laughs> have you seen Transformers? You, you see what yes, happens have. with Megatron? Like, you, you yeah. know, you think Megatron is dead and he's at the bottom okay. of the abyss and then they just find a way to bring him back to life without the offspark. Of course, I'm scared. Okay. I'm the ghost of one of those police robot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, wait a minute. Isn't that... Isn't, isn't that Robo McGruff? You see? 
Robot McGrubbs come. I can't. Oh, I miss I I missed him. I'm not dead yet. Oh! You should have attacked. Hi. Let's sweep. Let's sweep, and we're gonna take you to a Transformers support group. All right, everybody, come in. I'm. This is Transformers support group uh, for the lesser known, lesser active Transformers. Uh, my name is uh, Fiat. I transform uh, from a robot into a Fiat. Not a very popular uh, car, but I want to hear everybody else's stories. I was a robot A23, and I transformed into a flower. Ooh. Ooh. Did people, did, did humans like that? I think so. They give oh. me water. Oh, uh, let's hear it from somebody else as well. Me, Starscream! Oh, God. Oh, Mr. Starscream. Mr. Starscream, did you, did you take all the coffee like this time? Last week he drank all the coffee. Yeah. That's for everybody. Yeah! I drink all my coffee. <laughs> Mr. Starscream, did you try those fishermen's friends? They they might be good for your throat. I mean, I think they they might they might sort of help. I, they're pretty good for humans, I think. But, uh, I was going to try them, but then I just killed some fishermen, and that didn't work nearly as well. That's good. All right, I'd love to hear from some of the other Transformers we have here. I'm Unicron. Uh I, I just don't get any recognition. No one yeah. ever just talks about me. Um, yeah. They won't even, you know, they won't even, they won't even make a movie about me. I'm so, yeah, that's such, we're here for you, Unicron. We're here for you, Unicron. <laughs> let's all, let's all, let's all uh, put, let's all rub our uh, USB ports on him. Yeah, okay. Okay. Give him some good. All right, finally, you have our last member here. We all know we all know our last member here. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, I I I I just transform into a Honda Fit. It's very compact. God, is your name Fit? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's actually a very popular car. I was a Fiat. I turned no no mm -hmm. one was a Fiat unless it's in Europe. Yep. You're lucky. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah, this group is amazing. We're all transformers. We all transform. We're all important. We all transform. We see. I will find a way to betray you all. All right. Yay to the transforming robots. Thank you, Team One. Bit of future. Good crying. That was a good. That was yes, a good idea. reference, Alex. That's going to happen <laughs> in the future. All right. Um, at this point, I would like to bring up our MD, Mark Merritt, if he can come on the screen, so we could thank him for that great background music and also for the music he's about to do for our musical team. And if uh, you have the let's see, here we go. I am putting this in the chat so. Please feel free to donate or uh, tip your MD because he's been very amazing so far and it's always nice to show support to our MDs. And um, as I sit here, <laughs> drinking, contemplating life, realizing, boy, am I lucky that I have this mug. Would anyone else like to uh, do a little cheer with me? Come on up with your mugs or whatever else you have. And uh, we'll do a little cheer. Ready? Uh, cheer. Are you the only one there? Okay, there we go. Was well, that? Okay, cheer we go. Cheers. <laughs> with our... Uh, Oh, look, we got invisible. We got a magic right now. Notice this is an inner city mug. So those of you without an inner city mug really need to get one so that you will look as cool. Oh, we've got an inner city shirt. So she could cheer us with her shirt and think how cool you'll be with this mug next time we cheer. All right, uh, let's get our team. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do want to do before we go on to team two. Actually, I'll do that after team two. Let's get our host for team two up. And our timekeeper for team two, come on up on the screen. 
Michael and Dawn. Hey, thank you, Laura. Uh, Laura, of course, I barely missed on a, on a trip to San Francisco a couple of weeks ago in I'm a person. Uh, uh, I'm used to women trying to avoid me, but rarely did they flee all the way to Alaska to get away from me. <laughs> uh, and tonight we have team two, our musical team of the night. We have our time. We have our timekeeper, Laura, who will uh, uh, we hey he have our timekeeper who will be Laura Zar. So keep an eye out for her when you only have a few minutes left. And uh, we have for the members of Team Two, we have Andrea Padilla of Manila, Philippines. We have Marty Cohen of Los Angeles, California. We have uh, Joshua of Manila, Philippines. We have Jennifer. Prescott of Connecticut, Nelson Morgan of Oklahoma, and Don Slovin of New York. Uh, so, yep, uh, get up here if you signed up for a musical set. And thank you very much, Don. And uh, uh, get a suggestion and have a great set. Can somebody give us a suggestion? <laughs> Do we have one? Mugshot. Mugshot. Mug okay, mugshot Mug it is. Shot. Wow. Your mugshot looks a lot better than mine did. Oh. I've been practicing. Hmm. Well. I've had lots of practice too, but it does this doesn't show. I mean, maybe it's just because to begin with, you look better than I do. Lenny, you don't have to say that. It's just, you know, most mugshots, people are like Yeah. Like they, I know, that's yeah, why I would the guilt the I was like this. I was like this. Yours kind of looked like it was awkward. Oh, I am awkward. Profile but... was even worse. Okay, Lenny, you were like, <laughs> it was awkward. Uh, that was because they had this bug flying around, which is trying to go into my mouth. I know. And I had to spit it out. I had to <laughs> spit it out. <laughs> Do that. Oh my god. Oh. And here it oh, is. Oh, there, there's that damn bug again. You got to swat That's when we're gonna have our wedding portrait painted. So awkward, <laughs> Lenny. All right, let's just try to ignore. Okay. Oh, no. I got this. I got this net. Hold on, I got this net. Oh, got it. Well, when you want to get a bug that's flying around, you got to be quiet and not make a sound. You got to sneak right up and get a net and give the bug a pounding that will never forget you want to get it. And then you squish it because you're vicious. You do a vicious squish and a squishish fish, and everything will be wedding delish. Open your mouth when a bug comes round. Don't open your mouth, don't make the sound. The bug will fly in your mouth. Down south. Yeah. And no bugs makes for a happier wedding. Yes. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so uh let me see if I get this right. Uh you're going to bring all of the uh, culprits that uh, robbed me, and uh, uh, they don't see me at all. Is that, is that right? Because it is this glass there. But uh, I can see myself, so I don't quite know. Um, do you have that confused? Yeah, I, I'm going to bring all the culprits in, yeah. and they, they can see you, but you can't see them. No, no, I don't want, no. The idea is that they don't it's, see me. Listen, it's not what you, it's not what you want. It's what, it's what is the procedure. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I was yeah, I it, was specifically told that uh, if I came up, uh, that all my uh, fellow uh, robbers, thieves, and stuff uh, would not see me if I was to uh, rat out on them. So who, I don't. Uh, who in the world told you that? Well, the, uh, the, uh, it wasn't me. Promised me no. They, pro they, they promised me it was it was a a, 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 a police deal. Oh, can okay. you trust them? I please, please me deal. Uh, something having to do with deal. Oh, so you're you're a deal maker. N well, n uh, only only when there's like a bunch of okay. uh, fellow uh, culprits there, and uh, they could they could I, kill me. I got yeah. I got I got news for you. This is a deal breaker. <laughs> um. That's Joey there on the side, and uh, he likes to make money. That's uh, Larry next to him, and this guy, he's um, hes a lot like a bunny, but if you get him angry, he'll slit your throat in a second, and that's the end of you. And, uh, uh, um, I feel very uncomfortable here, sir. Well, if you feel uncomfortable, you don't have to rat them out. Don't talk about them anyhow. Keep quiet and let them do their thing. And just be insane. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> You're looking quite good right now. Hi. Hi, Joey. How are you doing? It's good to see I'm you. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to have a cow. I just want you to know that they're forcing me into this. Oh, yeah. We believe that. that we they have said no I got to take, a, I gotta take a test. I got I to gotta do something in a cup. I got to piss in a cup. And, it, well, and I... You didn't do anything wrong in my eyes, other than oh, I'm, what you've done in leave, everybody's eyes. I will leave you. I will leave you alone with your whatever he is. So good luck, and I hope you make it through for the next till the next morning. So you ratted him out. Oh yes, you did, and it will come back to get you. I promise you this. Is it is it too late to back out? Oh no, you're you're in up to your neck. <laughs> Tweep. 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 <laughs> You are looking good tonight. It, it, it must have been, it must have been a good interview. Oh yes, uh, I'm looking good tonight because every day is nighttime in my place, and yeah, it's a good interview. Uh, it's it's short, it's sweet. I just said yes to all questions. Wow. You know, I, I, my sister going to be a professor of immunology wow i'm so proud of you you're proud of me since when did i didn't i make it oh my god did i did i screw up badly by not I, did it oh my me? god i i'm sorry if i didn't make that clear oh my god i was a real asshole then You can't make up for the time. You cannot make up for the time spent. You cannot make up for the other opportunity that was gone. I've dreamed of. Oh. 
of you telling me you're great. I'm strong. I'm superior and you're part of me. You are brave. You are strong. And I am proud of you. I'm sorry that this never escaped my horrible lips. And I just wish I could make up for you for all the time that's wasted. For this, I've got to come to grips. But I love you and I'm proud of you. And I hope from now on that you will accept it. So please accept it. I will not accept it at this moment because I don't think you are sincere. Then all I can do is hope that my actions in the future will convince you that I have your best interest at heart. So please, at least give me a chance to make a whole new start. Please. A whole new start. <laughs> a whole new start. We'll have a whole new start. Sweep. Oh. oh my goodness. I just came out of prison. Out of prison? How long have you been in? You didn't, you know, you didn't arrive on the meet up, meet up point. Now I have to pretend that I'm doing like my community service, so I will not be caught again. Does it feel right? good to be free, free, free? Does it feel good yes, to be because free? I've got to see you again. Oh my gosh. I'm going to yeah. leave you two alone because it sounds no. like you're, get, you're getting sirs. We, oh. <laughs> He was just here. How long? You don't remember me anymore. I wrote you all those letters. Why? I have a phone inside the prison. Don't but I me. thought letters were more romantic because I could put the unicorn stickers and the little heart bubbles. But it's hard to get those letters because they think it's contraband. Oh, so did they, did they censor my letters? Because I wrote a lot of really interesting things. I only got one letter from you. And they you put... censored my letters? Oh yeah. my god, I'm so, I'm so sorry. You must have been so lonely. I thought you don't remember me anymore. <laughs> you just stole my love. you a cake, but I'm sure they confiscated the cake. And you a tray of brownies, but I'm sure those were confiscated too. I sent you a packet of my underwear. I don't think they made it through. Your 
I will go back to prison to save your uncle. What am I hero? The power of law. <laughs> I sweep myself. <laughs> we we've got to quit talking like this and use words. Uh-huh. So I, I don't want to play patty cake. Mm -hmm. So what is it we're going to do? Uh -huh. Oh, you're just going to continue to touch your face? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how is that helping you? Can you explain? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You've got a bad case of the uh -huh. ahas. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. You don't? You'd rather pat your face than talk to me? I'd rather pat my face than talk to you. Mm -hmm. How? How interesting it is that you pat your face in present in my presence how can we get along if all you're gonna do is touch your face you know i don't really want to talk about anything with you because if i talk again you'll say i'll talk too much and when i talk i will be able Stop talking to you about things like food, career, refrigerator, oven, and everything. So I won't talk to you now and stop. Uh -huh. It's so good that you quit talking to me. You'd rather pat your face than talk to me. Really? Really? Oh, I see. Uh, you? Your face looks good to me. Really? This face looks Look, good? It looks great to me. Uh, it's the best that you've looked in a long time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You look amazing. Oh my god. 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 Totally amazing. So good. So good to me. Okay. Tomorrow morning I'll talk to you. <laughs> okay. All I can say is good night. <laughs> So, uh, how long are you in for? Oh, they got me for three years, five months, and two days. Yeah, well, you know, you're going to need some protection here. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm really worried. I mean, I'm pretty wimpy. I mean, I mean, I mean, it isn't like I did anything like murdered somebody. You know, I just did some financial shenanigans and they caught me. I mean, yeah, well, I don't know what the hell to do here. I'm scared. I am really yeah. scared. Yeah, well, I, I've grown hard being here over 20 years, but uh, I, oh, I got to tell you, I, I, I didn't do it. They said that I, I, I looked up on Google when I could have actually uh, gone to an address book and looked it up that way. Man, they got those Google things. That's how they got me. I did a, I did a look up on Google for blockchain shenanigans. 
and that was enough for them to convict me. See, I'm telling you, it's a horrible system this is. It's a rotten system. I, I can't wait till we go back to the 1800s when uh, not only that, but you know, they tell me that I only have two minutes to live. Wow, that's really bad. Uh, any, of the, any of these other guys around here going to help? I mean, well, we can yeah, use I, it. I should hope so. I, I certainly had, <clears throat> pay off every oh my, single one of these guys for protection. Oh my Where's God, my that's money? Max, Mad Max, the, the multi-killer. Where's my money? I'm pulling the trigger if you don't give it to me. Well, it don't matter. I'm going to die in two minutes. What do we got? A, a bug flying around? Yeah, flies all over this place. I mean, yeah. Well, they sure don't spend money keeping the place clean. Oh my God! Look, that one. That one. I think that's an angel. Oh my oh, God! Oh no! It is, it is. You're right. Does that mean we're gonna die in the next two minutes? Well, I'm gonna. That's for sure. Oh no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Please, I don't, I don't want him to die. Then I perhaps don't want you to die. Then perhaps you should learn to fly. I'll, I'll try. Try to fly. It's not working. It's not working. I'm just, uh, oh no. I can feel it. I'm going to. I'm going to die. No, no, no. The angels are taking me. Am I? I don't know where I'm going up or down. Well, if it's what they say you're gonna go, you're gonna go to. I think I went to. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing team too. Love hearing all those beautiful angel voices and <laughs> tunes going out there. All right. Um, I would like to, first of all, uh, show you my cat. Then I would like to share <laughs> this screen with you, which I kind of mentioned before. And it's actually not this one I want to show you. I want to show you this one. So this was the this is our Etsy shop. As you saw, some of us have mugs, but there's some shirts you've seen, but there's other things here too. I mean, who wouldn't want a pillow? You could sleep and dream about inner city all night long. The next thing I want to do is to discuss what is on our menu because we have more than our Sunday night jam. This is where you are right now. However, we also have tomorrow. Uh, well, it says tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. It is um. Oh, it ends there on August 9th. Does that mean the whole uh, world ended on August 9th? I'm going to assume <laughs> that bi-weekly in two more weeks, we do have another one. This just needs to be updated. Um, and if anybody knows otherwise, let me know. But we do have that open mic. You need to you sign up for it. You do whatever you want for five minutes. How amazing is that? Uh, at, we also have on our menu a short form jam which we've got uh that one also needs updating so that's going to be once a month temporarily and we will be expanding that hopefully more in the when the weather gets colder and people are more online instead of out and so that will be in september first tuesday then we've also got toast and jam which is on saturdays at 10 a.m this is a very low key it's a really great way to get your feet wet if you're feeling uncomfortable uh, with being live streamed on facebook and you want to extra practice you get into small groups and you're working with a smaller group and you get a few different chances and it's a lot of fun etsy shop we talked about uh, we are accepting submissions for video sketches, musical directors, and also jammers. Get your friends to come in and jam with us. 
and join our community. We are on Facebook. We have got a page. Uh, you can join our page. We're also, on, we've got a, a group and that's for you to communicate, talk to each other. We've also got our YouTube channel where you can see all of the videos that we've done in the past. So if you want to go back a year and see what you look like then before the pandemic uh, got into full force here at the end, go back and look at that. All right. And um, so last thing, well, we've already talked about that. All right. Now it's time to bring up our host and timer for team three. So please come up. Surprise me with your lovely faces. There we go. We've got Dawn and Nelson. Hello, everyone. I am Dawn Robertson. I am your host for team three. Nelson is your timekeeper. As I call your names, please turn on your cameras because you are in this team. First of all, Michael W. from San Diego, California. Next is Dawn Robertson from, oh wait, that's me. Hi, from Texas. Number three, Laura Zaro from San Francisco, California. Also, Greg Little from Berkeley, California. Lindsay Gonzalez, all the way from Spain. And finally, Karen Tardiff, my buddy here in Texas. All right. Okay, we are gonna... team three. Uh, yes, can we get a suggestion of, uh, 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 ooh, you have somebody really annoying sitting next to you on an airplane and you think to yourself, God, this person must be from what location? Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Gary, Indiana is our, is our example. Is our suggestion. Well, where this guy must be from Gary, Indiana. <laughs> That's my hometown. Huh. Man, I'm so I'm really glad that you said it so uh so clearly. I didn't I could never get the name of that town exactly, hey, but when you said it get this guy a drink. Yeah, Gary, Indiana is clear. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah. We're we're talking everyone can hear you right now. So uh what happened in Gary? They kick you out? No. Is that what you heard? This is thrilling material here. Uh, what are you on, pal? <laughs> am I? Can I? Am I? Can you hear me? Can you hear oh me? Oh, my. You, do we have another mic? I told this. Okay. That's all right. Um. So, uh, how's the, uh, how them, how about them Yankees? Yeah. You can't hear any of this. <laughs> Uh, oh God, there's two mics happening at this show right now, buddy. Everyone can hear you. They can hear your nostril hairs and your nose. That's how that's how close the mic is. I'm not, I'm not just I've got a hairy nostrils too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, buddy. Like that that's a floor mic. That's is it too loud? Check <laughs> out Lindsay. <laughs> So, um, look, as your agent, I got to tell you, that last interview was not not good for your image. I mean, you're, you're supposed to be the spokesman for Gary, Indiana. You're not making us look good. That's all I got to say. Is there anything I can do? Look, I have you lined up for another show, okay? This is, this is your last chance, okay? One last show. Right. Now, T before you go to this show, don't put the microphone in your nose. <laughs> but everything else was good, right? Except for the nose microphone. Well, you know, as an agent from Gary, Indiana, I'm going to say, yeah, that sounded good. Sounded good. It was just a nose thing that threw everybody off. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what happened. <laughs> I, um, they, uh, I, I am, it's, uh, I'm gonna, it's all good. Tag out Karen. I'm going to do better next time. <sighs> Honey, 
as your wife, I just want to say that that last interview you did on TV did not make our family look very good. <laughs> People it, were, it's embarrassing. Was it the confusion? I don't it, know. My, my friends are writing me emails about your nose hair. I, I just. Is it really, is the nose hair really that bad? I, you know what, maybe I should cut it. Oh, that would be good. I mean, it should not go below, below your lips. I mean, that, that just is. How far below is, is bad exactly? Like, I, I would just say shave it off. I, oh man, this is, so, all right. Well, I like you laying it out. This is. So you have another show scheduled. So I think you're going to be you. amazing on the next show because, you know, you've got that personality. You're, you're so good and people need to see how amazing you are. They need I feel to like I that. haven't said anything on the, on the previous shows and I get all this vague, mainly people don't like the nose hair, but they, every, they say everything else is fine. But I just, I feel like I, I don't even know what I'm doing up there. Like, what is, what is a guy from Gary, Indiana? doing why am i there this is a question on my mind the whole time and you were like you're fine sweet well, <laughs> wherefore gary indiana why doth it exist we are here to answer these questions and more <laughs> and yea the lord said that there be gary indiana and so and so was. it was yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> praise the praise the lord <laughs> thank you brother moses we're just here to take your donations if the lord has blessed you to not be from gary indiana you must tithe <laughs> oh goodness. i was about to donate but then i realized that i am from well your money's still good here don't think that i, I, I really want to brother feel... moses i think this man was about to testify about something <laughs> <laughs> he could do both he can do both yes uh, is the money in the can yes the money's in the then speak my man testify testify son i've i've never heard of gary indiana and i and i'm from there he has sent us a prophet. He is from the promised land of Gary, Indiana. Praise the land Gary. The smells so sweet and the children are so happy. Praise, Praise Gary. Gary. Praise, Praise Gary. Praise Gary. Praise Gary. Did I hear the prophet was here? The, the, the prophet has been foretold he's come to us from Gary. Oh, praise I... Gary. Feel like I show up at the weirdest places, but but I will accept the attention. Yes, and and could I just draw the are. attention I... so carefully to your nose hair? Does everyone in Gary have such long nose hair as you? It's oh, beautiful. prophet! Oh, blessed one! Well, I want to be truthful, but also not embarrass everyone that I know. So I will do one of those things and say that everyone has absolutely immaculate nose hair, except for me. He recognized the sins within himself. He is the chosen one. Chosen one. Hey, he's Gary. What, hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. what words do you Peg bring to the people? everybody but Greg. <laughs> Honey. Who are all these people outside of our door? They're, they're, they're saying praise, praise. They're praising you. Praise him. Gary. I may have gone to the wrong praise interview. Gary. It's confusing to me. And I, I, but I liked what they were saying. What they're saying was. Um, praise Gary. Resonated with me on praise an emotional Gary. level. And I, I gave them money. Praise Gary. And then they were like. This guy is awesome. Guy. Let's listen to the things that he says. And I was like, it feels heartwarming. But but why do they why do they think your name is Gary? I'm well, very confused. They don't. They are praising Gary Indiana. Which at our house? We are from. It they say. This is like news to me. I'm unfamiliar with this. 
Oh, oh honey, so. are you lying and telling people you're from Gary, Indiana again? <sighs> I'm scary. Aren't I? No. Oh, that that relieves so much of this mystery. You're from Dallas. Really? Oh. Tag out Laura. Wake up, Bobby, wake up. Wake up, Bobby. You've been in a coma this whole time in the shower. <laughs> what? Is it, you thought you were dead Indiana for exists? two years, but you were just on the sleep on the floor of this shower. That, that's so relieving. It was like a nightmare, the situation that I was in. It was, uh, just tell me, just tell me where am I from? You're from here in Dallas, where you've always been from. I, that's good. I'm glad I'm from Dallas. You don't seem too sure. That coma Bobby. was something else. There was this place, Gary, Indiana. Yeah, that coma lasted uh, like a nanosecond, but it was just, it was my dream, really. Gary, Indiana, there's no place called Indiana. <laughs> This terrifying news. It's like the nightmare in reverse. I wake up. Like in Deanna, like in some place called Deanna. Like I'm in Deanna and you are out um, of Deanna. Uh, tag out Lindsay. <laughs> I, Perfect. <laughs> we are here between Ohio and Illinois. Are you saying we should found a land called Gary, Indiana here? This is the place. I'm certain <sighs> of it. Your dreams have led us here and we all hope to build a better life in this land you have let us it'll be a place that people don't care very much about but we will because it's where yes. we live because it will be, we will, be it will be all of us I'm so glad I'm, i brought my whole fa come on family i brought my uh, whole family here it's with good. us and we're starting over it's totally worth taking the I'm risk so excited. this is definitely going to work Absolutely. You have your pets here too. That's um, there yes, isn't any yes, yes. dog food available yet, but there are wild. It's um, okay. Now, oh, now, uh, what sort of city planning have you done? Like, um, how should we organize these streets? What's the highest priority? Do we need to find food? Do we need to dig latrines? I need Give to go shopping. Orders. I'm sure you've planned this all out before we got here. I have. We have to remember three things. Okay. Please. As humans, to survive which is very important, One. otherwise we'll die. Got it. We need food, Two. clothing Sounds for the weather, otherwise we'll yes, yes. get oh, too cold, true. Okay. and shelter. Otherwise, it's kind of like clothing. If we don't have enough shelter, we'll <laughs> get killed. This is why you're the prophet. <laughs> and no. it's urgent, yeah. by the way. I mean, we start on the shelter? That part. I'm Building here a shelter is a very high priority and getting food. I'm here to transcribe the words of Gary so um, they will live forever. That's cool, but maybe not the highest priority. Do we have Wait, cool, food, maybe not the highest clothing priority. and shelter? Let's, food. let's uh, wait a minute. Let's go to each of you and let's get the status of these items, which I Probably should. I'm here to transcribe the life of the scribe because they're equally important in the future of this religion. We have a lot of scribes. And what happened to our dog? I. When you said it, food, the did dog it disappeared. In the food getting because that's important for dogs, maybe even and more so than humans. And said, dinner's up. Who wants dog stew? Oh, I see what happened to the dog. This is. Um. I'm sorry, honey, but the prophet said food's more important than pets. I, I didn't. It wasn't easy, but I I'm had not to. Sure, I said that. I feel like that maybe a misconstrued. It was implied. You cooked, Sparky. That's, um. Listen, Sparky will always be with us in here, particularly after we finish the stew. That is true, if nothing else. Let's eat. And sweep. <laughs> Gary, Indiana. Anything north of the Mason-Dixon line is Yankee land. 
Yankee land. Are you, anything north of that Mason? That is too far north for me. Those people there, they don't know how to live. Where's my rights? I need my rights. I totally agree with you. And, well, I wasn't going to tell you this, but we're moving north. I swear to God, you better be joking. Because if I have to set foot outside of the greatest state in the entire world, I'm not going to be a happy person. Mm -mm. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be happy. Not one bit. H have you told her? I it told sounds, her. It sounds like you are telling her. You told me that you want me to be a damn Yankee. I, that, I feel like that's maybe a... It is... It's like a geographic, like can abstractly, like in our hearts, we will be here still. Dan got a great job, Margie, and you know it's always the three of us, so we've got to go north. Y'all were bit by the money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, hold on, I'm like with the prophet, and um, I can't find that in the book. What he said was, Lo, thy shalt have food, thou shalt have shelter, thou shalt have water. Sorry, it's not in money's not in the book. Did Wait. you bring the scribe home? I brought check out, the scribe check out home. everyone but Dawn. Okay. This is really important, and I'm going to need you to fill in the blanks, okay? Okay, The stars it. at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. All right, you can come on back. I mean, I thought you was a Yankee because you were coming from up north, but you know what? You're welcome back down here. Oh, thank God. I swear. I, I feel so much more like a human south of the Mason-Dixon line. Yeah, we like uh, we like to burn our barbecue and put our boots up and, you know, just make lemonade with more sugar than syrup. Did you say you're burning your barbecue? Okay, okay, I'm from Kansas City. Come on, love, oh, sorry. Geez. I'm so sorry. You know, you caught me. I, I was excited to see a fella Texan for once. Well, my daddy was from Texas, but they say they don't know if he was my daddy or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tag out Dawn. Bring in some, bring in some other people. Uh, we are here today to try Lindsay. No, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, for the crime of pretending to be a Texan. Shame. As we all know, Shame. there's only pu one punishment for this crime. She is to be made to eat. Yes, she will be hung by the neck until dead if found guilty. After okay, she drinks I, some I, unsweet tea. Yeah, yes. I thought you were going to make me drink unsweetened tea. <laughs> That's your last meal. Oh, dang it. Do you I have was anything there? to say? Yes. I can testify that she's not a real Texan. <clears throat> she got them Yankee no, roots. No, 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 no. I don't think... I don't think that being from two states is a crime. Uh, and if uh, it is, well, you can string me up. Blasphemy. And that is exactly what we shall do. Uh, I'm her I have mother. a test. I'm her mother. I came to testify that her father was from Texas. There you go. I'm going to need a birth certificate. Yeah, we're going to need documentation. Oh, come I, on, I, you Texans and you birth certificate demands. I, I have a test, Your Honor. I have a test. 
Go let's on. See, let's see if she can finish this with a little bit of chicken fried. Cold beer on us. Sesame seed bun. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, she is from Texas. Damn it. Oh, honey, honey. Hang up. Hang up. Well, we built the damn stock. We're going to use it. Got me so upset. I threw my hat. Sweep. Oh, I guess it's been done. Yes. What what words do you have for us now? I, it. I was just what I was gonna say, and this will sound will sound strange, maybe, but I was gonna I was gonna say I'm not a prophet. And my uh, words are meaningless. I don't know anything. I'm just some guy. I'm just some guy from Gary, Indiana. Maybe I don't even know that anymore. Maybe I don't know that anymore. <laughs> And lo, the prophet questioned his ability to lead, but <laughs> prove his right as the prophet. Only the prophet, lo, only the prophet will question his own prophetness. Got it. I didn't. Other people can question it too. You could question it. You can <laughs> stop writing the things that I say right now. Yeah. Could. It's like a. Can stop, but should not stop because we pause. must. I feel like words are being inserted into your writing. You're not, the prophet. You know, that's I turn this. You are. You're a good scribe, and I want to help you be a better scribe. Well, let's let's go. Let's do one saying. Praise Gary. Praise Gary. I'm not sure I like Gary. that phrase. Let's let's go with. Let's go with a like focus on essentials thing. I feel like that may be more lasting. Um, how about that? Do good. Now write that. Praise Gary. Do Praise good. Praise All right. Now Gary. read it back to me. Just just read it back to me. What you oh, wrote. Oh, thou shalt do the things Gary tells thou to do. Praise Gary. Oh, this, is, this is harder than I thought. I can get King James in here to describe if you like. <laughs> Scene! Scene! <laughs> in the future, everyone will be a religion for 15 minutes. <laughs> Good job. Wow, that came three. So amazing, right? Does everyone agree with that? Yeah, I'd have to say. <laughs> All right. That was that were our three, those were our three sets for the evening. But now we have something amazingly spectacular. Um, if Mark is still here, I'd like to say goodbye to him for one last time. Our MD, thank you so much. Give him a hand. Yay. Good job. Yay. And now, drum roll, please, for our headliners. Uh, Come on Bill up. In the other room, cough, cough. Why don't you ask for promotions, cough, cough? Oh, well, I could do that. I was going to do that after the headliners, but I could do that before. Does Still in the anybody other room. have any promotions that they'd like to do? Something you're coming up, something that's you want to share with us? Michael, <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, 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 I, I, along with another improviser, Elise Eo Rubino, started a lot more better improv and self-expression a couple of, God, it's a better part of a year ago now. Uh, uh, we do blue humor jams Mondays and Saturdays. We do grounded scenes jams Tuesdays or Thursdays. We have a streaming show coming up this Saturday night. We do karaoke events and other uh, uh, events. So uh, uh, please um, uh, like and follow a lot more better on Facebook. Thank you. Great. I can recommend that group. I've played with them. A lot of fun. Thank you. And um, I saw somebody else come up here, but oh, all right. Andrea. Hi. Hi, everyone. So I would like to invite you all to watch uh, Improvisation Festival. So there are 
there will be a festival uh, at the end of August. So there are lots of groups performing. You can see different countries performing there. So at least you can check how they do improv. So how different groups or different cultures uh, do improv as well. And then if you want to uh, see me, you can watch Typical Heroes Under Smack. Um, yeah, uh, Typical Heroes Under Smack. Say what you mean under Smack. And uh, a couple of few other themes. Just message me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Andrea. Is that it? All right. Karen. Hey, Friday, August the 27th is the next improv date night. Uh, I'll put it in the chat in a minute. It's at 9 p.m. Central Time. Do the math for your own time. And it's two person scenes. You get to go on a date with another improviser and it's just a lot of fun. So come join us. All right, date night. Woohoo. All right. Thank you, Karen. And is that it? All right, then. Now, oh, here oh. comes Don. I'm just trying to put these darn things into the hollow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm supposed to say that. Well, I, yeah, yeah. Hi, Vintage Improv <laughs> Festival is actually coming up to the Vintage Improv Festival. <laughs> Okay. Look on their website. There's lots of uh, things going on there. There's intensives. There are shows. There are classes. A variety of other stuff. Also, there's the Inv uh, Vintage Improv Festival on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Jam. <clears throat> I said that all in breath. And uh, the number to be able to get in, use your Zoom and use the number that's in the chat. That's the easiest and the easiest way of getting there. And thank you for your time. Thank you, Dawn. All right. I go. You can stay. Anyone else would like to promote right. something? I guess. Andy. Sure, why not? Yay. Yay. So not to bite somebody else's day, but Friday, 27th of August, we have our one year extravaganza. We've been doing it for a year long. We have a lot of teams that do perform here, which is awesome. Our team, which is performing next, is going to be performing there. And there's an improv jam at the end. So it starts 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll run to 2 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So hope to see you there and hope you all watch. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Andy. All right. Every time I think we're finished, somebody else pops on. No? No? All right. This is it then. Now I would like to introduce the amazing team that comes to us from the internet, the <laughs> Improfessionals. Yeah. Woo, Ooh. clapping, yay. Oh, this is the thing they like to do. I'm not sure what that is, but that's all great. We are the Improfessionals. We have Angela Kinez, I'm Andy Abramson, Leia Gofarb, Karthik CS, Alex Taylor. M Holy crap, I'm sorry. Mel Post, Sandy Hunley, Caroline Dunn. I usually skip my name to the end, but I was just reading the order. Sorry, my vision's not so good. So we are the unprofessionals, part of our team anyway. So we're going to have to do a thing called Stony Brook for you guys. It's a long form style game, which is a lot of fun, a murder and all that good stuff. So most of us are going to be dead by the end of this show in the internet world. So um, we don't need a subject or anything. We're all ready. Break a leg all and we will begin. Hi there. I am Loretta Scott, Dr. Loretta Scott. I am the local dentist. I'm the only dentist, in fact, in Stony Brook. I take care of everybody's teeth here. You'd be amazed at how much you can learn about a person by just looking at their teeth. You can tell what they eat. You can tell who they're having an affair with. You can tell what they do on their free time. It's amazing. This is what had always interested me about dentistry, is actually the psychology of reading teeth. I have many, many patients here in this town, and they shall all be coming forward very soon. Hi there, I'm Brenda. I'm the bus driver. 
it's a pretty easy route, you know, small town, only a couple stops. I get to talk to everybody though, which is pretty nice. You'd be amazed the things people tell bus drivers, you know, like maybe it's because I have my back to them and they just feel safe talking to me. Maybe because our town doesn't have a psychiatrist. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, it's always nice talking to people. I get to know everybody and it's pretty, pretty slow pace, just driving around town, picking people up, dropping people off. It's, it's a nice job, been doing it for a while. And, uh, you know, we don't have taxi service or anything like that. Most people either ride a bike or they come to me, take them to work, I take them to school, take them home. It's, it's a pretty, pretty relaxing job and I have fun doing it. Adam Rich here, bank manager of Stony Brook Bank Depot, investment manager, stockbroker. I do everything for this town. I keep money flowing in to this town. Everyone has to come see Adam Rich. They want a loan. They want a credit line increase. They need to come see me because I provide happiness, security, a new life to everyone. So come see Adam Rich at Stony Brook Bank Depot. Hello, I'm Maggie Robinson. I'm the principal of Stony Brook High not been in town too long. It kind of uh, got me from another town because they were having so much, so many problems in the local high school. I came in to crack the whip on these whippersnapper high school kids in Stony Brook. I mean, it just seems like learning has fell by the wayside. There is a time for learning. There's a time for joking around. I have got to make sure the kids in this high school take their studying seriously. Hola. I am Pablo Gaga. Pablo Gaga. I am the artist, the artist of Stony Brook. I am Pablo Gaga, the artist. People see a donut and think of it as food. I see a donut and see within the hole. And in that hole, I imagine the future. And in that future, I see a leaf. And in that leaf, I see the caterpillar. In the eyes of that caterpillar, I see the tear, the movement. And I paint that movement. I write songs about that movement, that tear of the caterpillar shaking the world through its leaf in that hole of a donut. I see it. I paint it. Hi. Hello. I'm Samantha Sani. Yeah, so I study philosophy, but I'm also the Sani coach. Yes, it's something I made up because when I arrived here to the village, when I went to high school, I discovered everybody was, they were sad. They were like just always crying or just looking around and I said, oh my God, these people need to laugh need to love, need to connect with nature because there are wonderful trees here. Look, in the sun it's amazing with the clouds and everything. And so I want people to be happy. And sometimes I say, I'll tell them some quotes like, when the world was created, they wanted people to have peace inside their hearts. And people look at me and I know that I can put the seeds of happiness in their eyes, in their face. How you doing? I'm Frankie. Yo, Frankie, I own the pizzeria here. Yes, I do. And oh, it is the best. I mean, Stony Brook Pizza, I would, why would I name it after myself? You know, Frankie is sweet, but let's be real. Stony Brook, it's a small town. And Frankie owns it. Yes, he does. I make the best pizzas in the world. It's not just a regular pizza place. This is Stony Brook Pizza. Frankie, your keen pizza maker. 
baked ziti? I don't make no baked ziti. Um, lasagna? <laughs> I ain't making no baked lasagna. It's pizza, baby. That's why it's a pizza parlor. I do it the right way. It's Frankie's Pizza Parlor, which is Stony Brook Pizza. The best pizza in existence on the planet. So many people say Stony Brook, but you know, Frankie, Frankie, got it, baby. The best pizza. You make it any extra thing you want. You want anchovies? I'll have swimming anchovies, live or dead. <laughs> I do it the right way. Good morning, Stony Brook. This is Janice Johnson coming to you from K947 Radio, your local radio station, bringing you all the latest news about Stony Brook. I just love telling you all the the great breaking news, the great things that are going on in town. Who's got a new bank account? Who doesn't have a new bank account? Who's teaching at school? Who's not teaching at school? Whose dentist is currently looking in their mouth? I know all the latest scoop that's going on here at Stony Brook, and I'm bringing it to you live, along with a lot of great hits from the 80s, 90s, and today, which somehow spans over 20 years. Open wide. That's right. Open wide. Sunny, you, you've been eating a lot of candy, haven't you, Sunny? <laughs> yeah, doctor. You know what? Because candies can give happiness. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, they give you a great deal of cavities, too. Ah. Uh, Real doctor, but don't worry, don't worry, because these cavities are an opportunity to grow, you know? Go ahead, open uh, wide. Uh, Just be careful. Be careful. You get too sweet and somebody might uh, take advantage of you. Uh, oh, doctor, doctor, you know, when someone is like an obstacle in the middle of the way, then maybe we can find a new way. I don't quite okay. get that, uh, but here, take a swig of this and spit in the sink. Oh, I'll just keep um, on putting on your teeth. Um, uh, oh, Do doctor, you, you yes. are not smiling. Why aren't you smiling, doctor? Oh, I have to concentrate uh, very, very closely on what I'm doing, because if I don't, I might nick your gums and oh. you bleed out right here. So, I, so yeah, I, there you go. You got the extra cheese, some anchovies. I know not the way I need it, but it's the best. Go for it. I'm a, uh, why is it triangle? And Pablo, 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 I don't come over there and say, why this, why that? It's freaking pizza for crying out loud. I mean, listen, it's the greatest pizza in existence. You know, Stony Brook Pizza, only pizza parlor open here because nobody could stay in business with me here. Stop playing with it. It's not a staring contest. Eat it for crying out loud. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Here's, here's I, can, uh, I can taste the anchovies. Yeah, well, I hope so. There's anchovies on it. Of course you can taste it. And here's your... Root beer. But can the anchovies taste me? Jesus, Pablo, Pablo, you always come in here, you order different pizzas, then you ask me these like crazy questions. I just make the pizza. I don't freaking find out the existence. Holy crap, you listen, you know. I like this root beer. I, I it's the best you thing you have in this pizza shop. Yo, yo, yo. Pablo. Yo. Frankie. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, come in. Open, open it up the door. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Frankie, you're late. Yeah, I mean, I understand I'm late, but you know, I, I do have a customer here. You know, Mr. Rich. Uh, I'm financing your customers. Uh, I'm financing your business and yeah, looking I, at your financials. Right, I understand. You are that. financing his business. See. see why is he got to be in our business, Dad? Why is he on, asking me questions, Rich. Frankie? Frankie, he can't be asking me questions. Yeah. Rich, you uh, came in as he's eating. You came in my... Oh, Jesus. Mr. Hey. Adam Rich. 
Okay, and I'm so happy to have with us here today, Brenda and Mrs. Robinson. So happy to have you both on today to just talk about whatever is happening in your lives. You know, small town, small news, but big news. Brenda, how's the bus driving going? Oh, it's been great. And I just gave Maggie a ride and she was telling me about all the things that are going on in the school. Apparently somebody pulled a fire alarm by thinking it'd be funny. Can you believe that? What? Ooh, troublesome teens. That'll be something else we'll need to uh, put on the show eventually. Troublesome teens. Mrs. Robinson, how was the bus ride to get here? Not bad. A little bumpy. I mean, I think the town needs to work on kind of smoothing the roads over a bit. You know, these teens go out joyriding. They they make the tires go too fast. They screech through the town. It just kind of tears the roads up. I'm going to take care of that. Ooh, well, you heard it here first, guys. Troublesome teens tearing up the tarmac. Mrs. Robinson taking ta task to it. Going to take them down. Going to fix it all. That's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, right. the potholes are out of control in this town. I've been trying to get them to fix it for forever, mm. you know, as, as a bus driver. And you got no shocks on these buses, you know? The whole thing mm. rattles when you go over a pothole. Oh, worst I part know, of the Brenda, Brenda, you do such a good job trying to avoid the potholes, but they're just everywhere. Many. Shockingly little attention is being paid to these this road issue. But <laughs> <laughs> <Bus, laughs> I did there, yeah. That's why I'm the radio host. Ha! Ha! Yes. Yeah, I listen ha. to your show during my route. Keeps me entertained. Well, I'm glad to know that you've got yourself tuned to WKX 47564325. We love your show, Janice. Oh, I'm just so glad, you know, and I'm glad that you guys are tuning in to us and all of our sponsors, including bank manager Adam Rich's bank banking things, things that he does for banking. Because banking is, 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 is important, apparently. It's like the banker with the most. I mean, he just kind of makes his town flow. Mm. Mag out, Maggie, and Brenda. Oh. I, Mr. Rich, I have this painting, and I think if I make 10,000 copies of it. It will be very profitable. <laughs> and you come to me because you need me to finance it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that, that's your job. You telling me what my job is? Yes. I have to supply money to this whole town. You telling me what my job is? I know what my job is. I know what it is, okay? Yes. I know, I, and it's very stressful, okay? Because I got to give money to everybody. Here, everybody comes here, to me. Here, here, have a glass of milk. It will calm you down. I will sing you a song if you want. Here. Oh. Drink it. Oh, no one's ever sung me a song before. I am going to sing you a song. You don't have to sing along. Keep drinking that glass of milk. Life will be smooth as silk. Tag out Pablo. <sighs> Mr. Rich. Maggie. I would like you to come in to the school and talk at the General Assembly. I think the teenagers need to know about finance. They need to start now so that they have a clear pathway to making themselves grow up. Yeah, and the honest way too. Like, you know, cause everything that I do is on the up and up. And uh, Maggie, I've been waiting for you to invite me to the school for a long time. Well, I'm going to give you a couple choices of dates, either next Wednesday or next Thursday would be perfect. And then I can go back 
shuffle the schedule and we'll have the assembly where you can come in and just lay it out for them. I All love right. dates. Bring in Pablo. Pablo. Hey, Pablo, you know, I've been thinking I need to do something to make my bus stand out more. I was wondering if we could make it an art project, if I could commission you to paint something on my bus. Sounds like a great idea. I want to brainstorm more with you with that. Here, have a glass of milk. Milk, oh, okay. Just plain milk, that's, uh, that's all right. Yes. I want to sing you a song about what you just suggested. Oh, oh, okay. A, a, a musical interpretation. All right. Yes. You have this empty bus. I don't know why it's such a rust, but it won't be empty anymore because it will be the talk of folklore. Wow. Wow. You know, that just gave me another idea. What if you were the entertainment on my bus? Because I just think the bus rides need to be more entertaining, you know? Linda, I'm an artist. Swipe. Bring in Frankie. <sighs> Frankie, open wide. Open wide. I got to get all that cheese. Oh, uh, look. Yeah, I, I, I know. Good. Samantha <laughs> ran out the door. I mean, uh, so I cut her a couple of times, you know? It's no yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, listen, yeah, I mean, you're great and everything. I really don't have time for this. I mean, I, I just kind of needed a, you to lend me some dollars, you know? I mean, just things are tough, you know? Mr. Rich is being a real pain in the butt, and I was hoping I could borrow some money off from you. You told me that that cavity was killing you. Yeah, it is, but he's going to be killing me if I don't pay him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> For real? Doctor, doctor, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was listening to the conversation. Uh, okay, so I was listening to everything. And you know, doctor, now you must use this skill of making the patient laugh, smile. Oh, I've got laughing gas for that. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, Put this on. You'll forget all your problems. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Just a moment, just a moment. Okay. Mr. Frankie, look, you can learn to smile in a natural way. I, I also teach Dr. Lovita. It's just you think about the nature. Thinking about nature. Okay, I, I get, okay, yeah, that's. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Loretta, it will help you because then he will open his mouth. Yeah, uh, geez, uh, I just... very, very smart. Um, I've got a needle here with some happy juice in it, Frankie. You, yeah, you know what? Here, here, here's your laughing gas thing. thing. Swipe, swipe, bring in Janice. Janice, I heard you on the radio. Um, you're not saying the name of the bank correctly. Uh, you know, I wondered if maybe uh, I wasn't completely wrapping my mouth around that one. <laughs> uh, uh, can I'm you not tell laughing. Me how you want it said, and I'll try and correct it. I'm not laughing. In three minutes, somebody's going to be dying. Stony Brook Bank Depot. Stony Brook Bank Depot. Great. If you want to uh, continue being on this radio station and getting the funding that you're receiving. I, I would like that. I would like that very much, sir. Okay. <laughs> People right. don't like my voice in any other situation, but in radio, they find it irritating. I mean, I appreciate you doing a great job. You know, you're helping you're helping me, you know, market, but you know, you got to get the name right. Cause like they might go to, I mean, there's no other bank, but still they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. I they totally know. understand, sir. And I will try my best to make sure I'm saying Stony Book Brank Depot uh, as much as possible. I said Brank, didn't I? Okay, tap said, out Alex. <laughs> So yeah, with all due respect, you know, you interview everybody in this small town. You don't want to interview me. It would help my business a lot. You know, I mean, come on. 
Well, I would love to help your business as much as humanly possible. But you might also note that Mr. Adam Rich is in charge of our bank depot. And he, uh, he actually uh, spends a lot of money to the radio station. And you owe him a lot of money. Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't need that to be blabbing around. You shouldn't even know that. Holy crap, this is what the problem is. I, I just really, really, really need to get some good advertisement. You can interview me because you interview, like I say, everybody else on this area. So, hmm. tag out well, we Janice. could interview you about how bad you are at money. <laughs> tag out Janice. <sighs> Frankie, I had a great idea. We're going to have this That's assembly. Awesome. In a minute, yeah. someone's going to yeah. die. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have this assembly. And the banker, Mr. Rich, is coming, and I wanted to order some pizzas. I thought maybe that would help keep the teams yeah, I, involved. That is awesome. I love that. And to me, that is spectacular. I, I love that speaking. I mean, through the window there, it's like a thing that... Well, this is just a lovely dental visit, and I'm so happy to have one of the best artists in town here. Oh, he's going to be working on your teeth after I'm done. He is the one that's going to pack the tooth after I drill out the cavity. He's quite creative in how he shapes the cavity fillers. Oh, well, I'm just looking for a regular tooth shape, if that's okay. Oh, well. Pablo has convinced me that I need him. Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes. And he's come up with a new jingle for my company. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, Pablo. Sing it. Miss Scott is the best. I don't know <laughs> where is the rest. Sing along, sing along, jing along, jing along. Oh. Are you guys smelling that? It smells... It smells acidy. Oh, like like bad milk. <laughs> oh, oh, Adam. Oh, Brenda. Oh, I'm so happy you are here. Because... I have an idea for high school, you know, because the, the people are sad and I just need an investment to put some smiley faces on the bells. Yeah, I, I think this town just needs a lot more entertainment. You know, I was going to commission that artist to paint my bus, but then things happened. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, all oh right, God, I'll, let me, there's a lot to digest. Um, let me just. Uh, <sighs> you are all very sad. I let me just go. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> They are all dead now because they were refusing to smile. I tried, I tried, I even asked for an investment to this rich one, Adam Rich, and he refused. <laughs> and, ma and the bus driver was still complaining that it's impossible. And what about Mrs. Robinson, the apprentice, who should make all the teenagers, all these young people happy? He was not doing it at all. So I had to throw some stones to her. <laughs> Dr. Loretta, Dr. Loretta was trying to treat cavities, but she was using gas to make people laugh. I could not accept it at all. No, 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 no. And not even the pizza. The pizza man. The pizza man. He was just looking for money all the time. <laughs> 
and oh my god, Janice, Janice was my only chance. She was organizing everything this conference on high school, but she was helping Mrs. Prentice to go with her project alone. Yeah, yeah. And Pablo Gaga, he was the only one singing and singing alone, but still looking for money. So I told them goodbye. Maybe you left on the other dimension world. <laughs> And see. Oh my, scene. Uh, I'm smiling. <laughs> that was <laughs> scary. Ooh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I'm going to keep a big smile on my face around Angel from now on. <laughs> I was not expecting that ending. Thank you very much, Improfessionals. Um, can I find out what your plans are for the future? First of all, I'd like to know, how did you get together? Everything, the, ah, the team's been around for about three and over three and a half years. Caroline was the first person in New York City. So we had some, and we still do have some team members from New York City that joined, but then we went, when crap hit the fan, went worldwide and that's how we met Angela, Alex, and quite a few of them. They're from different parts. So we have more people outside New York than in, but we yeah. do both in person and outdoors. And we love that we're a combination because this is a family, an improv family, and I love it. So it's, it's awesome. Thank yeah, you. you guys work great together. And what is your next project? We'll be performing tomorrow night at um, Social Distance from 7 p.m. Eastern time to 7.30 Eastern time. So... Come watch. That's awesome. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. That Thank was you. amazing. Thank you so much. All right. At this time of our evening, um, we are going to be having our line game. So I'd like to bring up David Shapiro and his co-host, Dawn. No, Dawn could do it. Dawn will just be my first victim because she didn't realize she didn't turn out for video. Uh, <laughs> Don't turn it off now. Don't turn it off now. <laughs> you should wait. You should wait. Um, based on Gary, Indiana, from the, earlier in the set, I looked up the Gary, Indiana city motto, and it says, we are doing great things. That's a really strange motto for Gary, Indiana. So I'm going to bring up uh, different cities, and we're going to call it the, the – the, uh, the, you're going to have to guess what the uh, – or the line game is uh, whatever the city is, and you're going to have to come up with a city motto. So if it was Banana City – uh, you'll love us. We have lots of potassium, something like that. So we'll, we'll let's actually start off with a fictional city that uh, exists in fiction. Wakanda. Wakanda from Black Panther. It's a comic book thing. That's what. <laughs> Wakanda, because you don't get semi-obscure references. <laughs> <laughs> who's got a motto who's got a motto for wakanda home of vibranium brian's got one uh wakanda right next to evanston <laughs> <laughs> a little further away <laughs> don wakanda <laughs> 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 Wakanda, the end of the world only starts here. <laughs> um, take a w Wakanda wild side. I'm not reading this to them. I don't know who wrote <laughs> this. But... <laughs> Brian, you got another one. Uh, so, you know, I, I got a free trip to, to, to Charles' hometown. Do I want to go? Wakanda. Let's get a uh, let's get a concept like socialism or Darwinism or nihilism or Wakanism. what? Keep going. Existentialism. Existentialism City. Welcome to Existentialism City. Welcome to Existentialism City. Wherefore art thou, 
Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Existentialism City. You'll sleep through our class usually because it's an 8 a.m. class. No one wants to go to that class. <laughs> Greg. Welcome to Existential City, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Welcome to Existentialism City, narrated by Wana Hotsog. Yeah, this is really exciting today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Existentialism City. What time is the S to mit to get here? <laughs> welcome to existentialism city you're human but you're free as a bird <laughs> all right uh i have lots of legos what is something you could make out of legos a lego it's not plural lego bricks that's the plural everything uh, every, everything city welcome to everything city if we don't have it you're not here. Welcome to Everything City, home of deep dish pizza, New York style pizza, Detroit style pizza, every <laughs> other kind of pizza. <laughs> <might be. laughs> Greg. Welcome to Everything City, where we have, wait for it, everything. <laughs> Welcome to Everything City. Try the bagels. <laughs> let's get let's get a let's get a uh, a, a a celebrity that's uh, been uh, impersonated by lots of people that everyone can do an impersonation of. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Welcome to Christopher Walken City. Welcome to Christopher Walken City. Take off. Walk on the wild side. Who wrote this? I can't believe I'm not reading this. These people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's gonna do the? Uh... <laughs> it was a uh, Ryan. I got a fever, and the only solution is tourism to Christopher Walken City. <laughs> Welcome to Christopher Walken City. Visit it for Chris's sake. <laughs> Welcome to Christopher Walken City. I kept this watch hidden up my rectum <laughs> for the city. I'm giving oh it to God. you. Come on, give us another look good one then, on. Thank I'll... God David didn't keep the scissors for cutting the city ribbon when he kept the watch because there could have been bad news for David Shapiro's. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Back to you, Laura. <laughs> that was our line game. Thank you. That was our line game. Thank you, David. All right. <laughs> A lot of very witty people here. Um, so what I'd like to do is at this point, get all everyone who's helped tonight, all the volunteers to get up. Come on, turn on your cameras and give you a everyone give them a big thank you for all they've done this evening. It was all me. Thank it you. was all done. It was all done. Yes, all right. Thank you. We have our host. We have Michael, who was our tech this evening, did all the tech. So all that uh, opening the room and all that hard stuff, that was him. All right. And was that it? Okay. Well, thank you, volunteers. Uh, we are going to take a group picture. So can everybody please come on up? Okay, fix yourselves, look beautiful. Put some light in that room. All right, good, here we go. The more the merrier. One, two, three. All right, now I like, I, I love Lindsay's pose. Can we all have some kind of a commercial pose or something where you're, I don't know, promoting something or promoting yourself? Oh yeah, I like that one, Brian. Where's my mug? I think I put it up to be washed. All right, one, two, three okay thank you everybody so ready michael this has been 
the inner city long form improv jam. Woo! Woo!